How to set up Bix gas burners. These popular gas burners are ideal for use in model steam boiler applications, but it is very important to set the position of the gas jet correctly before use. If you don't get this right, they will quickly overheat and cremate the ceramic material. Most gas burners for model steam boiler applications are designed to use this type of gas. It's a 70-30 mix of butane and propane. In some applications there's a separate gas tank that you fill from the larger canister. But in this demonstration I'm using one of these. It's a commercial gas canister adapter fitted with a removable long pipe and on the other end of it is a gas jet. This is a number 8 gas jet and it's fine for the smaller types of burners. You may have noticed that the holder is a bit chewed up. That's because I've fitted this part and clamped it in place quite a few times. The gas jet is going to go into this burner which I recently bought from a company called Forest Classics. I've bought a few of these over the years and they can prove difficult to use. Assuming the gas jet is the right size and a number 8 is on the top end for this size of burner. A smaller gas jet, like a number 6, would probably be better, but unfortunately the hole in the end of a number 6 gas jet is so small that they're very easily blocked up by debris from the gas tanks. This burner is going to be used in a Stuart 500 boiler application. The one behind it is the larger type for a Stuart 504 boiler. In this clip I've set it so you can just see the nozzle of the jet through the hole in the Venturi pipe. And now it's lit and burning nicely. But watch what happens. The ceramic is starting to glow red and a lot of people think it's supposed to do this. But this type of ceramic is not supposed to glow like you see here. In this part of the clip I'm pulling the jet out a little bit further. And this is where it all starts to go wrong. The amount of heat generated goes up exponentially. The further back you move the gas jet, the more turbulent the gas becomes, and the burner immediately starts to overheat. If you watch this sequence carefully, you will see the change that starts to take place in the ceramic as it gets hotter and hotter. If I push the gas jet further into the Venturi pipe, the ceramic doesn't glow quite as brightly. But if I move the gas jet in the opposite direction away from the burner, look what happens. The ceramic is being overheated and the burner starts to make a quiet roaring sound which will eventually get really loud, at which point you must turn off the gas. When these burners are in use, they really should be silent. You can of course reduce the gas pressure. The problem with that though is the burner is much more likely to blow out, particularly if you're using it outside when it's breezy. For this experiment I have the gas tank valve fully open and look at the state of the ceramic now, it's really starting to get hot. And the roaring noise of the gas is getting louder. If you've just bought one of these burners I do not recommend that you try doing this. The whole point of this video is to show people how not to cremate their Bix burners. This burner is reaching this temperature sat on a piece of wood on my workbench. And if the burner was inside a boiler casing it would get much hotter very quickly. When I turn the gas off you can see just how hot the ceramic is, it takes quite a while to cool. In this clip if you look carefully you can see some puffs of white smoke coming from the ceramic. This is a sure sign that it's overheating. I let it cool and relit it. This time I've pushed the gas jet further into the Venturi tube and as you can see it's not quite as bright but I still think it's a little bit on the bright side. I once read a Bix burner instruction leaflet and it said you should aim for lots of little blue triangles above the burner. This is much better, it's not overheating and the burner should run all day long at this temperature. This clip clearly shows how far the number 8 jet is pushed into the Venturi. I'm going to try this same number 8 jet on the larger burner for a 504 boiler. It's a bit on the small side, I think these larger burners are designed for a number 10 jet, but it's burning this piece of wood quite well. And as you can see, I have the gas jet pushed quite a long way into the Venturi tube. A few years ago, when the company Max Steam were building boilers, I used to speak to Mike, the man who owned it. 
The original Max Steam burners were really good, but then he found it difficult to get the correct type of ceramic. In this video, I'm going to include a clip from a video I made a while ago. In the clip, the burner I'm working on is one for a boiler which is of the center flue water tube type. But unfortunately, I don't know where to get the old stuff either. I just had this small piece lying about. Here's the clip, you'll see what I mean. I'm going to revisit this Maxteam ceramic burner. This particular burner was taken out of a Maxteam boiler because it kept overheating. I spoke to Mike Abbott about this and he said it was the type of ceramic he was using. This is very similar to the ceramic that's used in Bix burners and they're also prone to the same problem if the position of the jet is incorrectly set. As suddenly the flame sucks back inside the burner and burns inside the burner and cremates the ceramic. So I changed the ceramic for a type that Mike Abbott used to use in his early burners. If you compare that earlier type of ceramic with the ceramic in these Bix burners you will see that it's quite different. This type of burner does not replace a coal fire inside a firebox of a model steam boiler. But on the plus side these are a lot cleaner. When I turn out the lights in the workshop you can immediately see how much better this is. Can you see the small blue bits? That's the way it needs to be. The burner must not be a continuous red like this because it will just burn out. You can tell the difference just by the sound alone. So this is where you need to be. You need to have some blue bits on top of the burner, like this. I'll end this video with a couple of health and safety warnings. Be careful when playing with the gas burners because you can burn yourself and set fire to your workshop. And always remove the gas pipe adapter from the gas canister after use. I hope you found this a useful video to prevent the cremation of your Bix gas burner's ceramic element. And while on the subject of cremation, this was an idea that I had many years ago called Cremovision. The idea being that you could video record your own obituary before you died. It never really caught on because I think I was the only person who thought it was a good idea. That's it for this episode. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.